Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all smashing it. Wet one today. Well, today we're going to be looking at Bimacode, which is obviously available on iOS and Android. Um, Tom's just recently purchased that. So we're going to look at coding in the M Sport display logo on the main screen on Startup, because everyone loves the M logo, don't they? So we're going to have a little look at that. Tom's going to walk us through it. It's our first attempt, so I'll pass you over to Tom now, and let's get started. Right, guys, here we are. We're going to go through a quick run through on the uh, the Bimmer code. We've got the V-Link adapter. We're going to plug this in on the OBD. Obviously, the lights are on, and so you know that's working. Let's go through with the uh, the Bimmer link. Right, here we are with the Bimmer code. So, once you've obviously got the uh, adapter in, you've got your phone in airplane mode, your Bluetooth to the car disconnected. Uh, we're just going to connect through to the unit. So there we go. As you can see, the unit's connecting. You need to select your vehicle, BMW 3 Series, continue. And now all it does is basically pair with the vehicle, reads the VIN, goes through all that kind of thing. Uh, and here we go. There's it loading. Right, so this is the uh, mirror link loaded. It's connected through to the vehicle. So these are all the options you've actually got i'll just have a little scroll through that so you can uh, you can see everything you can do uh, what i would advise if you're thinking of going for this i would download the bimmer link app uh, with that you can actually go into demo mode so it'll cost you nothing you can have a look through the demo mode have a browse of all the features see everything you can do just basically make sure it's right for yourself um, obviously today we're going to do the the head unit m logo so we select the head unit that'll just go through load up with the car make sure it's logged on to all the relevant devices etc just takes a little while not quite as long as the initial load up and here we go right so these are all your options on your head unit so you can go through all this on the, the demo mode basically what it does actually show you is all the original settings on the vehicle um, so you can just see basically how your car is set up from factory or, or whatever you've done whenever you do do any of the coding it always takes a backup every time you do it so if you mess it up you can uh, you can always go back put it back to the way it was right so we've uh, selected on start animation as you can see you've got standard connect drive one that's what it's uh, my cars come with so we're going to go with the M variant select that go back into your menu now you'll see your code at the top is now lit up so we click on that gives you a little prompt just basically make sure and reminds you that you have got your phone in airplane mode you've not connected to the bluetooth on the vehicle um, it will also, i don't think it tells you but you want to make sure your car battery is charged and everything once you've made sure everything's right just literally click on start coding as you can see now it'll connect through to the vehicle again it doesn't take too long to do this uh so it's right in the data as it's doing this you will notice everything will uh will kind of power down and power back up again hopefully when it powers back up you will actually see the uh the m logo on the screen so there we go right encoding so it's just finishing it now what you will see hopefully there you go so it's powered down so let's see what the M logo looks like on the display. There we go. So how much was this, Tom? Um, the actual V-Link, obviously there's loads of different ones you can get. Um, I got this one. I'll show you the box. That's the one I got. I think that was about 30 quid. Um, the actual Bimmer Link, uh, I think that's about, it's about 60 or 68 quid to buy it. Um, what I would say, if you're thinking about it, download the app and basically there is actually a demo mode on it. Right. With that, you can go through all the actual features, um, see whether it is something you want to do. Um, obviously, if you need to code in different lights, like the xenon lights, LED lights, rear lights, 
and that vital boot timer on the bottom we're going to be looking into that because yeah. loads of people say on the forums they walk away from the cars and the boots open i've had it myself so i'm going to be looking at that on mine soon obviously we're novices on this so it's trial and error and we're learning as we go along so if you've got any suggestions or you've got knowledge on it yourself that you want to share please feel free to drop in the comments and yeah we'll go from there so we managed to do our first bit of a um, Bimmer code today, and we all love an M logo. <laughs> yeah, so as I say, I'm, well, I have actually already coded in the folding mirrors on it yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, that was a one one thing I wanted to do because obviously I've got the lane assist on it. Mirrors are expensive; it's about seven hundred and eighty yeah, quid a mirror, yeah, so I yeah. wanted them folded in in car parks, etc. But yeah, it's a good little bit of kit. Yep, so there we go guys. Any suggestions, let us know. And likewise, if you've got any useful information, please share with us. Um, so that's a quick one today, guys. So please like and subscribe and carry on following us and we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.